The EE-9 Cascavel Armored Reconnaissance Vehicle was developed by Angisa alongside with the EE-11 Yurutu Armored Personnel Carrier in the early 1970s. Both vehicles share many components. In 1975 this reconnaissance vehicle entered service with Brazilian Army. It was exported to some African, Asian, South American and Middle East countries. Overall it proved to be a successful design. The EE-9 Cascavel has an armored hull welded from a multi-layer armor. Vehicle's front armor protects crew from 12.7mm rounds. A two-man turret houses a 90mm gun and a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun. It is worth mentioning that the first production vehicles for the Brazilian Army were armed with a 37mm gun, EE-9 MK.2 while the export models, EE-9 MK.3, had French 90mm guns. The EE-9 MK.4 had a license-built EC-90 gun. This gun has a rate of fire in 6 RPM. A 12.7mm machine gun is mounted over the commander's hatch, however some vehicles are fitted with a 7.62mm machine gun instead. The EE-9 Armored Reconnaissance Vehicle has a rather powerful armament and can be also used for direct fire support or destroy hostile armored vehicles. The Cascavel can easily destroy various armored personnel carriers, infantry fighting vehicles, and other armored vehicles except main battle tanks. The EE-9 Cascavel's MK.2, 3 and 4 are powered by a Detroit diesel 6V53 in diesel engines, while the MK.5, 6 and 7 models are fitted with a Mercedes-Benz OM352A diesel engine, delivering 190 horsepower. In 1999 the Brazilian Army initiated a study to replace the EE-9 Cascavel armored reconnaissance vehicle, as well as the EE-11 Yurutu armored personnel carrier. At that time these armored vehicles were in service for nearly 25 years and were becoming outdated. In 2007 a contract was signed to develop a new Brazilian armored vehicle known as the Yuruta 3. Development was complete in 2011. Later the resulting vehicle was renamed as the Guarani. In 2012 a first batch of these armored vehicles were ordered for the Brazilian army. These were delivered between 2013 and 2014 and began to replace the EE-9 and EE-11. Full-scale production of the Guarani commenced in 2013. By 2019 a total of 400 Guarani armored vehicles were delivered to the Brazilian military.